Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make Rachel's favorite thing. Ice cream. And we'll make it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, Video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, every time I get to that part, my voice starts to crack. I know, I don't know what it is. It's like phlegm level going up. <laughs> so today we are going to make Rachel's favorite thing. It's ice cream. It is ice cream. And I mean, anytime we review something, usually I find a way to top it, like beef jerky, put it on top of ice cream. Like, yes. I just, I love ice cream. And we have come to find, using this recipe, that it can actually be a, a real low carb dessert option. Well, honestly, Rachel doesn't use this as a dessert. Rachel's going to use this as a meal because it is really good keto macros. Which sounds crazy. Yeah, and the thing about it is this ice cream only needs three ingredients and it's really easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Rachel can make her favorite thing to eat. Now, here's the thing. You do not need an ice cream maker to make this recipe. It's getting better and better. All you need is a good high speed blender. A We're gonna one. use a, a Vitamix. You're making me think twice. I know. Uh, you can use other like different types of blenders. The only thing is, is you're going to need a tamper what to is, have it. What is beeping? That, let me go turn that off because that is part of the surprise for your dinner slash dessert. Yay! So are you ready? I'm always ready for ice cream. Okay, so let's push this to the side and go over the three ingredients that you're going to need for this. Just three. Okay, number one, we're gonna need some heavy cream. And we like this one, this is Organic Valley because it's organic, it's pasture raised. And it doesn't have any carrageenan in it. Yes. yes, it does cost more money, but when it comes to something like making an ice cream, we're not just using like a quarter of a teaspoon or a half no, of a teaspoon. this is a focal We wanna point. make sure we're using the best quality ingredients that we can have. Next, we're gonna need some type of a nut milk and our new favorite, we've gotten away from all of the shelf stable ones because there's carrageenan and other preservatives in it. We've gotten away from even like the silk one. This has become our new favorite and it's close to the same price of silk. I've even seen it sold in Aldi's now. It is really, really good and you've got to hear, and it, what is it, it's Calfia Farms. Yep, this is the toasted coconut one. It's total, like eight fluid ounces in a glass, you know, yeah. a glass of it. Yep. And for that serving, one total carbohydrate and one gram of dietary fiber. Right, and then we also calories. have 45 calories, four grams of fat, one gram of protein, so it's higher in fat, so we're adding to our fat. And the ingredients in this are almond milk water, almond milk, which is made with water, almonds, coconut cream, um, you've got some calcium carbonate, some sunflower lecithin, some galan gum, some potassium citrate, and monk fruit extract. So good ingredients it's in this. It's really good. So this is definitely worth it. We find So that's what you need, the main two. And then finally, we need some keto chow. Keto chow! So now you can do this with some other protein powders. It's well, just not going to have the same flavors though. You've got to have these flavors. These flavors are amazing. Yeah. And there's now, so many. Yep, and we're gonna use the salted caramel. Now, if you do wanna get some keto chow, I have a link down below in the description, and then there's a coupon code that'll also get you 10% off. Chocolate toffee, Yep. We're, egg knob. We're gonna use the salted caramel. Cookies and cream. Um, mostly because it's in a bag so you guys can see it. It's also a great one, but you can do this recipe with any flavor. My favorite is actually the chocolate peanut butter. It makes it, because there's that extra fat from the peanut flour in there, it's like super thick. I will say their tomato basil doesn't come out so great. We haven't tried that. We should try that. Are you ready? Just kidding. Obviously, they have savory flavors too, but I would okay. use the sweet ones. So here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to use a cup measure. Okay. You're going to go off. Now, again, you can adjust this with whatever you want. Okay, you want to have lower fat, lower calories, lower the amount of heavy cream. You want higher fat, higher calories, increase the heavy cream. The key is eight ounces of liquid. So we're going to start off, do your heavy cream. 
We, I usually use three ounces of heavy cream. Three ounces. Urgh. All right. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Then we're going to top it off with our nut milk. And I would shake that first because that one we opened did, up the other maybe day. Maybe I'll do another one. Give it another shake. Oop. Make sure the lid is securely fastened. We have not done that in the past and That's it true. has not ended well. Okay, so we're gonna fill that up to the one cup mark. And that's it. Easy cheesy. And we're gonna just dump that in here. The only thing I don't like about heavy cream is it is so thick. Look at how much we're losing. So I'm gonna grab our little uh, spatula and try to get some more of that out. I can just pour some coffee. Because I feel like coffee. I'm leaving fat in there. I can just pour some coffee in but that. But then it's not in our ice cream. I'm gonna drink it right out of this Pyrex. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in one scoop of whatever flavor keto chai you want. We're gonna use salted caramel. It smells so. We're running low on salted caramel. Caramelly. We gotta wait for it to be like the week. On special. sale. Remember, every week salt they put one on sale, and that's the only flavor I buy for the week. Ooh. You're wasting our keto chow. Sorry. Okay, so what we're gonna do as soon as you put that in there, just we're gonna just give it a little mix so that the powder can kind of mix up. Yep. Okay. Now you have a lot of heavy cream in there. So you don't want to let that run too long, or guess what you get? Whipped cream. No. What? Butter. Oh. <laughs> you will get whipped cream first, then you'll get Salted butter. Salted caramel butter okay. does not sound Now bad, there is though. one more ingredient that we need, and oh. that is ice. So it's four ingredients. Okay, so it's really, well, it's three ingredients and ice. Yeah. Four ingredients, I guess. Okay, the way I've done this, this works out perfect every time. If you have a two cup measure, a mm -hmm. glass measure, fill it all the way to the top. So you can see it's filled all the way to the top. That will be the perfect amount of ice for this ice cream. We're just gonna put that in. We're gonna put our lid on. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on and you're going to notice that it's gonna turn up a little bit and then it's gonna stop. Once it does that, we're gonna use the tamper to yeah. keep it going, and then once you see it moving around, stop tamping, and then when the whole thing stops, then it's done. Awesome. So do you want me to demonstrate this for you? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna turn it on. And you can see, it's already kind of stuck there. So we're gonna take the top off, and use our tamper, and push the ice down. And you see how it's starting to grab? Yeah. We're gonna do a couple more tamps. There we go. Oh, so now it goes. Okay, see now had that? It's done. It started churning. It starts churning and you'll you'll hear once it grabs all that ice and this is what we're left with. It's very pillow. When it looks like that, it's completely done. There is no ice left in this. That's crazy. Okay, and again, you can do this with other blenders. You just have to make sure you have a high speed one and one that has a tamper. Vitamixes are expensive. So yeah. I don't wanna say you have to have a Vitamix. No. I, you can do this with the Ninja, with the better quality Ninjas. But it is like the Rolls Royce of blenders. Okay, so now here's the best part. This is one keto chow shake. So if you drink keto chow, yeah. this is the equivalent of one shake. When I make Rachel's, I only do three ounces of heavy cream. And we'll go over the macros on what this- Three ounces? Three ounces. And then we fill it up with the milk when we're making the ice cream. Look at the serving. But look at this. There's still more in there. So I mean, no matter what I'm eating, I want to eat this much of it. I this? Mean, maybe not organ meat. <laughs> This tool, I wish we could get more of these. We bought this on QVC, and it's like actually designed to get underneath the blender blades. It works really well. Okay, so here's a serving. That's one serving. That's one serving of keto chow, the equivalent. So obviously, it looks like you have a lot more there. Yeah. Okay, let me grab some spoons. Oh, I have to share this with you? Okay, well, we kind of want to make this pretty, don't we? Maybe. So we're gonna do, we're gonna top this off just a little bit for you. We're getting fancy. We're gonna get fancy because you ready? Here is how we what? like to eat our ice cream. I didn't know you were gonna make waffles with it. So this is our keto chow waffle. I will leave a link for the recipe right up there. It's really good too. We'll put that in there like that. And then we'll go.
Uh oh. Good enough. We'll have to make some more. We'll have to make some more. But like, if you're having kind of a hard day, yep. and you just want something festive. Hello. Look at that. Is that the most adorable thing? Okay, you ready? Yes. Am here's I ready? A, here's a spoon for you. Okay. Sorry, we left it in there a little too long when I unplugged it. That's but, all right. Okay. Got to grab some of that whipped cream. This is how to make lunch. <laughs> yep. So if you don't have an ice cream maker, but you have a blender, you can still have keto chow ice cream. It is so stinking. Wow, that's salted caramel. We haven't had salted caramel flavor before. It is good. Now we're going to do it the right way. Ice cream and waffles. Okay. Yeah. So let's go over the macros on these. Okay, now let's start off with this. First, sometimes we make this and we make one bowl of it for each of us and we have it as dinner or sometimes lunch. Some people have like breakfast for dinner. We have dessert for dinner. Yeah. Now there's other times where we make one bowl and then we make one of these waffles and we have it as like a part of our dinner slash dessert. Right. Just kind of depends on our day, especially if you want to get some more fat and want something sweet all at the same time. If I'm having a rough day, it's dinner. Yeah. So now as far as this bowl for the macros, not counting the waffle that we right. made or the extra little bit of whipped cream we put on time, that was just kind of for pretty. Yeah. Okay, we're looking at 434 calories. Now that's based on using this brand, this flavor, because all the flavors are off by a couple of calories. Right. Okay, 37 grams of fat. 26 and a half grams of protein. Wow. Okay, now when it gets to the carbs, it's a little tricky. If you plug what we put in into chronometer, it says it's seven carbs, seven total carbs. But that's because. But that's because this, this particular whipping whip, heavy whipping cream says zero total carbs on a serving. But that just means that they are rounding down. Yes. Every All whipping, whipping cream, cream has at least a carb. I mean. Yeah. All heavy whipping cream has about a half a carb in a serving or a tablespoon. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we use three ounces, we're gonna round up, and I'm gonna say that there's about three total carbs in the amount of heavy whipping cream we use. And I don't think that you're ever gonna be sorry being overly honest. Yes. You know, so if you go by that, you're looking at 10 total carbs, six and a half grams of fiber. So that would be three and a half net carbs. For a giant bowl of ice cream. Now again, we probably are overestimating. It might be closer to two total carbs for the heavy whipping cream. But again, my thing is overestimate instead of underestimate. And this way you never run into any trouble. Nope. Oh I gosh. saw you sneaking some of that. It's so good. I'm not even sneaking. I'm like just openly eating it. Well, that is our video for today. Do us a favor, let us know down in the comments section which flavor keto chow you would use to make this recipe. Chocolate toffee. Chocolate toffee. Cookies and cream. I don't pumpkin know. Pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice comes out good, and my favorite is honestly chocolate peanut butter. Yes. Oh, that's good. That, we had that one yesterday. It's so good. So, so please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.